Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Today we are going to finish up, um, Koopa Bros Fortress. Yeah, last time we got to this little area after doing a few little simple puzzles, but yeah. Today we are gonna go and beat the Koopa Bros, so... See how that goes, anyways. So first thing is gonna just be, let's hit this switch and raise the staircase so we can continue onwards. Um, these Koopas, they just kind of freak out. I actually love the expression on their face. They're just like, ah, oh my god, and so we go over and attack them. So, it's Koopas. Yes, it's going to be an entertaining fight. Yeah, I really think that maybe later on in the series I'm going to just start cutting out fights because it's like the same thing over and over again, and yeah, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. So let's just keep on just hitting these guys. Down. Yeah, the Koopa Bros, they're a pretty simple boss, but, um, yeah, no, I'm sure there will be nothing really to worry about. Ow, I can't even block. Okay, let's just hurry up and take out this guy. And, there we go. Done. We're also getting kind of close to a level up, too. We only need 10 more star points, and that should probably happen before we get to the Koopa Bros, so... Oh, okay, so we got a mushroom. I can't carry it. So what I want to do is throw one out and then use one and then pick it up again. So the second I throw this out, press C right. Go. Da oh. Da <laughs> Crap, I pressed C right and then I pressed it again and... Uh, or wait. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Actually, I might be getting my but buttons mixed up, but whatever. Ah, oh well, should still be fine, because now that I've beaten this guy, I uh, grab the mushroom so it doesn't just disappear, I throw it out, I use my mushroom, so I get 5 health, and I grab this mushroom, and get that. So now I'm back at full health, and we didn't lose a mushroom out of it really. So that's what I usually try to do if I run out of items. Well, run out of inventory space anyway. Um, we, we're supposed to go through that door, but instead let's go up here and grab this badge. Uh, it's just a single ball bomb fight, so I'll be A-OK. -okay. And especially, should especially be easy, because I'll just power shell it and everything will be fine. Done. Alright, let's grab our star points, grab that badge, and get going. Alright, this badge is a, um, charge, smash charge badge. Basically, I, you have to take a turn to charge, but then your hammer power goes up by two. I don't know, I never usually use the charge badges just because they're kind of annoying to have to use a whole turn to, um, actually use them. So now we're outside in this super bridge area. And like look over the other side, and it's like Koopa Bros music. Well, 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 Mario. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny that he doesn't look like he's talking that loud, but we can hear him, you know, 150 feet away. <laughs> well, it's probably farther than that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, boys, open fire, and they start launching bullet bills. And you're like, whatever. And we go down here, and um. Go bombet to destroy this rock. So just explode it and grab whatever is in here. Oops. Ah, okay, it's a maple syrup. So we will throw out a goom nut since it's like seven more FP. And <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I could probably not ever do that again, even if I tried. Okay, so that we're probably gonna just want to avoid the bullets, because they don't give you much experience, and they're also just, oh, well, they're just kind of annoying enemies. Well, I, then again, I am pretty close to a level up, so maybe I might as well just fight a few of them. They only give you one, um, star point if you're the same level that I am. They only have two health as well, I think, but then they kind of just do that. And I did a terrible, terrible job at blocking it, but that's fine. So, actually, yeah, let's just fight one more bullet bill so I can level up. And, yeah. Uh, 
that. And... Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever screwed up that action command, actually. It's pretty hard to mess up, and I did. Okay, that's how you block it. It just takes some quicker timing, I suppose. But anyway, level up, so I'll get all my health back anyways. And I'm gonna upgrade flower points again, because seriously. So I pretty much only use flower points. So now that we're at the end of the bridge, we're not gonna want to fight the cannons right away, because if you are low on health, you can heal here, and there's a safe block too, just in case something goes terribly, terribly wrong. Though I would hope that most decent gamers wouldn't have much trouble at this point. And yeah, they have one defense, so just a normal jump attack won't work, so you'll have to use a hammer with a good action command. And now time to show off Bombette's bomb move. Basically, you just tap A until you get 100%, and it does, like, a buttload of damage, so... It's a really almost cheap attack to have this early in the game, but it's really helpful for the Koopa Bros, and actually, even even in the second, uh... The, uh, second, uh, chapter, it's a really useful move to use a lot. And now we get another chance to attack. Yeah, I think cannons have, like, I think actually cannons have five health, so it's like you take out one per turn or something like that. I'm not I'm not sure on that, but that's if I remember correctly. Let's take out this guy, and I guess we'll just body slam since I know I won't be able to kill him in one shot with bomb anyways. And Mario, you can just hammer, even though I'm just gonna bomb him next turn, but whatever. I'll just hammer him anyways. And there we go. And they actually give us a fair amount of star points, too. They give us 12, so... I think it might be like 15 or something if I didn't level up just before this. And, like, a load of cash, too. So let's go back down here and heal and save again, just in case. Save completed. And back upwards. Into the Koopa Bros lair. Yeah, it's like super duper awesome tastic death music. Shake a leg, man. Ow, my shell, get off. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Yeah. Basically, they're just. I don't even know. What are you doing, yellow? That doesn't look cool. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Finally! Remember to look cool, guys! Yeah! <laughs> down, down. And it's friggin' Bowser, so... Oh man, yeah, sorry guys, this is actually the end of the game. We fight Bowser right here and beat him. I love the theme. The, the boss battle theme. Yeah, so we'll just, he has um, one defense as well, but we just use bomb, and everything will work out perfectly fine. And he runs over and does one damage with his incredibly smooth animation. And we'll just, I, lo I love how the, uh, I love how his name is Bowser question mark question mark question mark. <laughs> And that's everything. Oh no! Yeah, it has 10 health. And it kind of just, like, just kind of jiggles a bit and then just explodes everywhere, so. <laughs> and there are the Koopa Bros. Here comes the Koopa Bros. Now, time for, like, epic music. Have a taste of this. Super spinning attack. And this one actually kind of hurts. Bam! Four. They do one damage for each Koopa, and they attack you all at once, so it does four. And, yeah. It actually is kind of a tough attack, but as long as you just take them down as quickly as possible, it's fine. They start kind of doing a weird thing to each other. Um, I, I won't comment on that, but... Yeah. So then we knock them all over, and they become basically normal Koopas. Or I think they might have a... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have more health than normal Koopas, but they're just kind of there. Um, nah, no mind using an item. I'll just 
Yeah, and apparently their official name is, like, Green Ninja Koopa. So, G Ninja Koopa. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll just keep bombing them until they're all done. Green one's already done. And we should be able to take down Yellow in this turn, too. Before they get back up and start doing their super special ninja attack again. Oh, uh, yeah, let's bomb them. Boom. And two down, and then they do super special attack again. But it only does two, and I blocked it correctly, too, so that works. And now we're just going to want to knock them over again, and basically just repeat what we did in the first part. I, I swear, that looks really, like, suggestive and weird, but... Oh. And yeah, we don't actually need to use a bomb to knock him over, we just need to hit him again from below. There we go, so now we just need to jump and bomb. And I guess we won't have enough flower points to bomb Red Koopa, but that really doesn't matter. Because, like, a single uh, Ninja Koopa really can't do much to me. Well, like, whatever, a single Koopa, bro. Yeah. Do that this, and yeah, I guess they do have more health than a uh, normal coup. Oh, actually, wow, I really missed that. Well, he's down for the count, and I do have enough to do a power jump, so let's power jump for the win! Hell yes. It's actually one of the only bosses where you get more than 30 star points, but there you go. 32 star points, and they're like, whoa! And fall off the bridge just like the Bowser costume. And they're down there, and it's kind of funny because the Bowser costume has like a picture of Peach in it, and the hole is kind of blocked off again. So they're kind of stuck in a little bit of a pickle there, but it's not much of a matter to us because we are going to get the first Star Duder thing there. Let's just grab it. It's just. Yeah, there's nothing else in here, so. And as my TV screen glitches out, we beat chapter one. It took us like what, ten videos or something? End of chapter. And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remain imprisoned and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. And that's all we're going to do for this episode, guys. So next time we're hopefully maybe going to actually start Chapter 2. I don't know. There's some stuff you have to do before you actually start the next chapter. But until then, see you guys.